Artemis one has thus far been pretty phenomenal, right? You know, the whole point of a test flight is to prove that we did the engineering and the design work correctly. And so seeing it all, I mean, we're flying right down the middle of the design path, right? This is fantastic to see. Um, so it's exactly what we wanted to see. You know, your fingers crossed. You never quite believe it until it happens, but it, it really is happening. We'll be splashing down on on uh, Sunday um, around the 11th, and then um, the the spacecraft gets back to port on the 13th, and then 13 days later it gets uh, delivered back to the Kennedy Space Center, where we can actually start pulling the equipment off and doing more more post flight assessments of the vehicle. And liftoff of Artemis One, we rise together back to the moon and beyond. We talk about all the success on this mission. But we have about, I want to say, 30 or so percent of our objectives still ahead of us. There's a whole bunch of test objectives tied to that entry, descent, and landing phase, the recovery phase. So we'll be looking at how our parachute systems perform, um, and, and of course, our primary test objective, which is our heat shield. So this is a, a modified design that we have made since our EFT-1 test flight. And so we, we need to make sure that heat shield performs as we intend it to perform so we can fly crew on Artemis II. The first time is the hardest on all of these systems, whether it's SLS or the human landing system in the future. So the more we get it done, the faster they will continue. So I, I hope it's an accelerating cadence in the future. Um, and we anticipate we should be able to get to more consistent flight rates um, once we have the practice of getting it all launched. <laughs>